Hi everybody, Robert here with more training. This is going to be Inventor and we're going to look further at constraints. So we're going to go with New. And we want to go to English, Standard IPT, and we'll click Create. Now once we've got that done, let's go into our <clears throat> Start 2D Sketch. And let's select the XY plane. And then we want to click the line command. And then let's do a start point right here. One here. Let's say another one here. And make it vertical. You see the little dotted line? Click another point here. And there we go. So we got our three lines, and now we got we've got a constraint here. And to hit this show constraint line, show constraints. This allows us to see constraints. It's like a toggle, so I turned it on and off. But if I touch this line, you'll see the constraint here showing. Now if I touch this line and this line, that means there are no constraints there. So do you see our horizontal constraint is, is in our, our, our view. So I want to just go into graphics window and click OK. And we can also select this one and just hide it. So click hide constraint right there. <clears throat> so now the next thing we want to do, let's have a look at what's going on here. So let's draw a dimension line right here. Okay, now, um, we want to select our fix command on the constraints, and then let's select the point right here. So the little padlock there is showing us that that point is constrained. So... Let me just go back and show you something. I don't want. I don't want to show that yet. I want to just hit this guy. Hit dimension. And let's make this three. And as you can see, the the bottom adjusted and all the legs sort of change. So if I undo this back, you'll see what happens. So all of the lengths changed. <clears throat> So now let's go with that. Let's just use our fix. Let me zoom this in here a little bit and fix this. So let's select the point right here on the end. And we have a little padlock there. <clears throat> now, once again, let's go back and change this dimension and watch what happens. Let's change this to three. And you see everything moved and shaped except for that point. That point stays constrained. It's not going anywhere. <clears throat> so I'm going to just undo that back. So just to show you that, let's zoom off. Now, let's go here and look at vertical constraint. So let's select the vertical constraint and let's select this line. So as you can see now, the vertical constraint made that line constrained, and it's locked into place, basically. You want anything go anywhere. And then we want to go also, we want to click in our graphic window, and let's do show all constraints, and I turned them off. Or you can push F8 on the keyboard, and there's all our constraints. There's the center point, and there's the vertical and the horizontal constraint, and our fix. Now, let's have a look at this guy here. If I select that, what we call here is co 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 coincident constraints along the top. And what that does is we can grab this guy, grab the point, and we can move this up and down, but we can't go anywhere. It's only going to go up and down. 
because of we have these this line constrained and this line constrained. So that's the only movement we'll get is that line because it's not constrained. It's a co coincident. So now we can even do this. Let's go here. This is a situation where you can do this as well. So let's do a dimension line from here to here angle. And say I wanted to change this angle here. Let's make this 45. And there you have a 45 degree angle. So now I want to show you something else here now. I want to go ahead and over constrain this guy to a point. So now let's have a look at this. Say if I wanted to go quote unquote change this over. Let's make this 35. So everything is constrained except for this, this line here. So now um, let's try to over constrain and drive them and driven dimensions. So let's hit the dimensions tag again. And let's select this line. Okay, now here this little dialog box top popped up here to say any dimensions will over constrain, choose except to create a di driven dimension. So I'm going to say okay here, except, and this dimension is driven, that's why it has the parentheses around it. So whenever you see that uh, parentheses, that means it's a driven dimension. Okay, so now we can change this angle back to 45. And as you can see, that driven dimension changes, and it's going to always be in parentheses. So that can be changed. Now, I want to show you another thing here. Let's make this back 35. 35 degrees. Now, let's take this guy here, and let's delete. Um, Let's delete this this uh, dimension right here, this this constraint. Let me say OK here. So let's go here, right click here, and let's hit Delete. Now, once it's deleted, we can grab this guy here. Let's grab the point. Sorry. There we go. And we can move this around. Because we deleted that um, that fixed uh, constraint, we, we deleted it. So that's why we're able to move this around. So let's just place it there now. And let's do zoom all. <clears throat> and now let's have a quick look at using auto dimension control here. So. How that works is you'll select this icon on the constraints, the very top, and select it. And then this dialog box here pops up. And what this dialog box does, it indicates here, it says dimensions required. It's got two dimensions that are not showing up. So basically all you need to do there is just click apply. And there you can see the additional dimensions, which is from the origin and this and this origin to that to that point now let's click remove and done now here let's do another little thing here let's go and go back into our general dimensions and let's make a dimension from this center point to this line And let's select this dimension, and let's say zero. And that'll bring the, the, the shape to that point. So anyway, I wanted to just show you this brief little quick exercise here on more on constraints. So hey, we're going to continue this and move on, but this is some stuff you need to know. So hey, guys.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, well, please put it in the comment section. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, and be safe.